Well, hello, guys. It is me once again, Ken, Renaissance Man. I am here to do a reaction to The Warning, the new song, Automatic Sun. I have been avoiding watching anything live of it, and the only thing I've heard was a little snippet they put out of, like, a few seconds. And I am curious to see how it sounds. Uh... I haven't watched the live version, so I'm going to actually do the studio version first and then a live version because they have tended to be very different on the other two songs, especially Hell You Call a Dream. Um, luckily, they put out a video with this as well, which I guess most of you know now. And uh, it's the studio version with the them doing the live performance in uh, the Pal Norte Festival. So... Anyway, let's get into it, and I will be stopping as we go because I'm going to be talking about the recording and all that as well. Uh, you all have all heard the song by now, so you shouldn't be put off by it. Um, if you are, you might want to leave now. All right? <laughs> so let's get to it, and here we go. All righty, three, two, one. The warning. Okay, I know I'm stopping it already, but a lot happened in a hurry. Um, at first, I thought that was the bass over to the left side in my ear. Uh, I think it was the guitar, just tuned way down. I was talking to Robert earlier. He's watched some of the live stuff. And he was talking about how low Danny's guitar was tuned in this. And if that's her guitar, wow. Um, uh, a, a few of the things. So let's listen to that first. Sure enough, that is her guitar. Wow. I uh, freaking love that. That is nasty. Okay, I know I'm stopping again. Uh, a couple of things. Her reaching up and hitting the strings, you know, up above the nut to get that little bang sound. Really cool. Um, I'm wondering if this might be the one that she was talking about in the live that she said, I'm playing, a, I'm playing in a way I've never played before. Uh, this could very well be it. Um, the other thing. Uh, that I can give DeLost a little bit of credit for this time, um, where I thought that Hell You Call a Dream and Sick, that the drums were a little bit lost in the mix. Here they are right up front and punchy and clear and in your face, and I like it. The silence at midnight just feels like your nails down my back. Wow. 
This almost has the energy of like a romanticide by Nightwish and with the flames and the, the just driving energy. This is the most energetic mix so far off this album. Um, I don't know if it'll continue that way, but I am liking it. Uh, and I don't know if Allie was doing the falsetto part coming in on there or if it was just Danny doing that on the album and then Allie's going to do it live. But it sounds really nice, and I kind of hope it's Allie. Um, but, wow, and the video shoot on this is great. Uh, th this one's going to move up there with Hell You Call a Dream for me. I, I can already tell that. I mean, I really, I've liked all the songs so far. Danny's voice right there. Oh my God, I I never thought I'd say this because I went into this without a lot of expectation, to be honest, from the little snippet that I heard. Um, all I heard was Danny's voice a little over-processed and all that, but you know what? On here, it's actually working. Um, and those stops into that dot, 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 that was freaking awesome. Um, Danny has added so many colors to her voice on this on this uh cd so far and oh, man she just keeps getting better and better she keeps impressing the shit out of me so let me go back <laughs> i would really be curious to know if um ally is singing the backups that she's going to do live on the cd but i assume it's probably danny doing them just because she has in the past but I'm still hopeful. Great little roll. That is so cool. Try not to think about it too much <laughs> The way the weight of everything's just On and over the The way you hurt me's never enough This oh. thing's just hard to give up If you want it all then just take it Take it, take it Wow, the crowd Burning your eyes um, I want to run that back for that roll uh, the, the, the drum mix on this is so good uh, it's everything that I was wanting from the others in clarity. So, uh, man, I, I could not be more impressed with this song, oddly enough. And I love that Ali's playing her uh, original oh, signature so bass. Looking like a badass out there, I tell ya. I gotta run that back. La -da 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 -da. That was pretty. Um, these are the most dynamics I think I've ever heard Danny stick into one song. That is really cool. And man, that bass. That that little bass breakdown is just phenomenal. Um, 
sorry I've been pausing this so much, but there's so much to talk about. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Rolls are so nice. Try not to think about it too much. The way the weight of everything's just That's a nice kick down. Oh. The way you hurt me's never enough. This addict's just hard to give up. If you want it all, then just take it. Take it, take it. Burning your eyes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see what I'm hearing there. This addiction's just hard to give up. If you want it all, then just take it, take it, take it. Burning your eyes. The the way the drums came in there and didn't come out and hit where you expected them to, and had that little delay. And then jump the gun. It it it's so so good. Um, this is some of my favorite songwriting they've done. Ah oh, man, and the the video on this is phenomenally shot. Um, the video team they've had for shooting, you know, the Pepsi, con the Pepsi concert, and this and and just. Their video team has stepped up. Too much, the way the weight of everything's just on an avoidable heading. The way you hurt me's never enough. I like those crowd shots too. If you want it all, then just take it, take it, take it. Burning your eyes. I thought sure they were going to end on that little downbeat. The fact that they went into this heavy, heavy groove at the end. Really, really cool. Um, and, and I know it doesn't sound, but the feeling I got when they went into that was just old Black Sabbath. Just when they would go into that really grungy, like kind of half timey. Uh, just awesome. Look what you're doing, doing. Look what you're doing, doing. Look what you're doing to me. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Woof. Okay. As you can tell, I really, really like this song. Um, I was going to do the live version after the studio version. But I, you know, and I, I was going to do that because I expected the studio version to be more kind of produced and all that than I wanted it to be, and that the live version would let me hear how they would sound live. 
But as it turns out, uh, other than the vocal effects, I get the feeling that's, that the studio version's going to make the live ones hard to listen to because I went through a whole bunch of live versions and none of them sounded really any good. If someone comes out with a better recording of it down the line, I doubt I'll react to it, but I'll watch it. So anyway, uh, my thoughts on it, uh, I like a lot of what they did. As you could tell, I thought that Danny's guitar playing was inventive and... And if this was the one she was playing, she was saying that she was going to play different than anything she's played before. Uh, I would agree with her. <laughs> it was definitely a whole new approach. Like I said, vocally, she was phenomenal. Um, the one thing, I looked at the lyrics ahead of time to kind of get an idea of what the song was about. And I can tell you now that I finished reading the lyrics and I went, huh? Because I didn't get it. Um, I got somewhat of a gist of what it was saying, but I never figured out what automatic sun meant. Um, maybe I'm just stupid, but this one was, I think a little more on the metaphorical side. Uh, and the, the one thing that I did get from it, and I think it kind of goes along with the other songs that have been released because it had a feeling of once again, being trapped in a life that you both love and hate at the same time and not really wanting to be out of it, but also hating it at times. And that seems to be an overarching theme from Sick to Hell You Call a Dream and to the Spanish song from when I was reading the English translation of that. It all seems to be uh, people who are not in a happy place in their life. They're, they're either trapped or um, in a situation where they're doing something that they enjoy at times or, you know, but, but they are also in the same way trapped by it and don't see a way out. Um, now, I could be wrong, but that seems to be an overarching thing of all four songs that have come off of this CD so far. I think, I think that it's, again, maybe talking about their relationship with fame. Because once you get fame, it uh, becomes all-consuming in a way, and you can't just suddenly not be famous anymore and just be, just be you're you're stuck in fame and you can't really get away from it but you also want it so it could be that a lot of what they're talking about is not a relationship with a person but with a, a place you are in your life i could be wrong you know i often am uh but i think that's where we're at and that would be my take on it so far they will probably come out and say it was totally something different and they got screwed over by somebody and, you know, but, but that was my take on it up to this point. I have no idea what automatic sun means. So, so anyway, uh, I will read all your comments and I am sure someone will explain it to me if they figured it out. So I appreciate you taking your time with me and I will now go and do the much harder version of editing than it should be because when I was doing my video capture, I forget forgot to hit start. So with all those stops, I've got to go through and sync up with the sound that I could hear through my headphones into the microphone and get all my videos synced up. And that's going to be a fun time. So anyway, uh, do the like, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff because I am going to try to make this my living uh, between this and the painting and the drawing and the sculptures and the, all those different things, um, make a living at this. So uh, just please, if you get a chance, do that. And I hope you have a great day, a great night, and a great life. Bye.